Hello, my name is Hector Velasquez and welcome to another episode of GCSAA Inside the Shop. Today we're going to be talking about cutting unit. Now, to have a basic understanding of the cutting unit, it's going to help us in the next few episodes because we're going to be delving deeper into the cutting unit. We're going to be talking about grinding the reel, grinding bed knife, angles. Now, let's get a basic understanding on what a cutting unit is, its components, and how they work in relationship to each other. So, we got a lot to cover. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so some of the components that make up the reel is a reel, or sometimes called as a cylinder, and this houses all the blades. And then we have a bed bar, and a bed bar is what supports the bed knife, and this is what we have here. There are many different styles of bed knives and thicknesses, and we'll talk about that more in depth in a future episode. But a bed knife is secured on the bed bar with a series of screws. And then we have a rear roller on the real cutting unit. Then we have a front roller. Again, there are many styles and different varieties, and we'll get into that in future episodes. But all these components are being held together by the cutting unit frame. Now, let's talk about some of the terminology that we're going to be hearing here. We're going to be talking about HOC, or height of cut. Then we're going to be talking about the attitude of the bed knife, or the angle of attack, or the angle of the bed knife. Then we're going to be talking about the shear point, which is where the blade of the reel meets the bed knife. Then we're going to talk about clip rate, or frequency of clip, and that is the distance between the two shear points. Another terminology you're going to hear is BCD, behind center distance, and that is how far is that shear point from behind the center distance of that reel. All of these components is what affects the aftercut appearance. Now that we have a strong foundation on a cutting unit, its basic functions and components and how they relate to each other, that's going to help us understand the theories behind how a reel works and how it affects our quality of cut, the aftercut appearance. It's going to give us a better understanding on being able to troubleshoot the cutting unit when we see something not going on exactly how we think it should be going on. Now, looking forward to the next episode where we're going to start delving deeper into the cutting unit. I want to thank you for joining me here today on GCSAA Inside the Shop, where we're helping technicians one wrench at a time.